on your day one get into the corporate life and see the differences between you know the music the dancing and the real business yeah. world what happened to you on that day Can you still remember <laughs> oh my gosh yes um so i have been um Well, I'll take it with the first full-time job that I had because I had a few part-time jobs before that. Um, my first full-time job, the very first day, I was required to wear like a uniform, you know, which required like business professional, right, a suit. Um, for guys, they had to wear a tie, um, and for guys, they had to have their hair cut above their collar. Um, and, and for women, you had to wear either a dress or a skirt, and you had to wear pantyhose. With, that had closed toes on the shoes um, and and I just I walked in there feeling like I'm in this costume that doesn't fit me well it doesn't feel right mm. and all I wanted was to take that costume off put on my regular clothes that were me and go back to school <laughs> because To me, in September, when I started the job, you know, the first day on the job, to me, in my life, that was always the, the start of school. You know, it was always the start of a new semester. It was always the start of a new academic year. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the hardest things for me to, me to do was to acclimate to the fact that I wasn't going back to school, that I was actually in the workforce now, And this is what the workforce meant, that I had to dress up in a certain way that the that the company was telling me I had to do. And I had to walk in and I had to act in a certain way because that's what the culture of the organization was telling me. And I had to figure out why work was being given to me without any explanation of what I should do or why I should do it. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, what was the purpose of it? What was the benefit of this? Who was going to realize a desired outcome from this? Who was this helping? And I struggled mightily to figure out like where was my puzzle piece in this bigger picture because I was never given the bigger picture. Um, and so it was a very frustrating time for me. And I just remember thinking at the time like, is this all there is? Because there's got to be something more than this. And what I know now that I didn't know then mm. was that this work didn't have purpose for me. It didn't have meaning, but I didn't have those words back then. I didn't know that. And so I felt like I was in this place, not understanding why people were acting the way they were acting, not understanding why I had to show up looking like I did and try and, I knew that like I was confused about things, but I also knew I could tell from the culture that it wasn't okay to ask questions and it wasn't okay to show that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't okay to show that you were confused because you had to show like you had all the answers. And so right away, like I'm getting these cultural messages and I'm thinking like, why is this the case? Why is it not okay to say you don't know? Well, why is it not okay to say you don't have the answers? Well, why do I have to pretend to have all the answers if I really don't? And what's the problem in asking a question about that? Mm -hmm. And so it was it was so confusing for me. Uh, I really um, I really struggled with mm -hmm. it. Um, and I got to the point with that first job where um, I got a migraine. I have never had a migraine in my life until that moment, and I've never had one since then. And That was my body's way of telling me, look, there is such a disconnect here between what you are asked to do, who you are being asked to be, and how you're being asked to show up, that internally, that caused so much stress for me that it, that it resulted in a, in a physical migraine. Yeah. And I knew in that moment that I had to leave that type of environment because it wasn't healthy for me. It wasn't working for me. Mm. And so it, um, I didn't last very long in that job. Um, so, you know, when I think back to that first day of working in the workforce, um, it's a sad day when I think about it because I, I didn't know how to process what was going on. I didn't have anybody to talk with it about. And the only thing that was working well about that for me was that I got to create connection with 
um, French Canadian automotive dealership personnel、mm. because that was the job. I was speaking to um, um, dealership personnel and helping them solve like why the diagnostic terminals weren't、um, able to diagnose what was wrong with the vehicle.、Uh. So, but I, I was doing that in French and I was doing that in Spanish. So. I love being able to connect with the people that way, you know, because I could learn about them, learn about their families, share about mine, learn about their stories, learn about their lives. You know, it was beautiful.、Um, but the way that I had to do that, you know, I was evaluated on the speed with which I would complete a phone call.、Mm-hmm. Well, when you're trying to create a connection with someone and you're trying to build a relationship with someone,、um, time isn't usually one of the factors that you're. Using to evaluate, you know, how well is that going? Yeah. And so, how I was being measured was in direct contrast to one of my values, which was create a relationship that's meaningful and 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 helps this person in some way, as opposed to just oh, I'm supposed to be off the phone in 34 seconds, you know. So there were a lot of things that I learned in that first position, in that first role in in corporate.、Mm-hmm. Um, That I learned didn't work well for me, and as I saw throughout my career, I saw that those were things that weren't working well for other people too. Yeah. But they weren't in questions. You know, they were just saying, okay, well, if this is status quo and this is what it is, then then I'll just I'll settle, and I'll do this. And in my world, I kept thinking, there has to be something more. Like there must be something more. There has to be something that is bigger than this. That contributes more to the world,、um, that makes a difference, and that matters. And so I set out to really understand what was that,、yeah. and how can I help other people find that too. Beautiful.